Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will solve two interesting problems based on limits of convoluted signal and area covered by convoluted signal. So let me solve first question over here. See in first question, what is given? Here, we need to identify the range of convoluted signal Z of T and also identify area of convoluted signal with respect to time axis. Here convoluted signal that is Z of t that is a convolution in between x of t and y of t. First of all I will calculate range of convoluted signal. See range of convoluted signal is based on range of x of t and y of t. First of all let me explain calculation of lower limits. Lower limits of convoluted signal that is based on x of t and y of t that is lower limit of x of t that is 2 plus lower limit of y of t that is minus 1. So in total lower limit is plus 1 and upper limit is upper limit of x of t that is 4 plus upper limit of y of t that is also 4. So in total upper limit that is 4 plus 4 that is 8. So range of convoluted signal that is there in between 1 to 8 seconds. So here z of t that is ranging in between 1 to 8 seconds, right. Now I will explain area covered by convoluted signal. To identify area covered by convoluted signal, first of all we need to identify area covered by individual signals. So first of all we need to identify area covered by x of t with respect to time. Let us say that is a1. So area of rectangle that is base into height. Here height is 1 and base is 2 second, right. So area covered by x of t that is 2. If you want to calculate area covered by y of t, let us say that is a2. Then this area that is bisected into three regions, you can observe. See first region that is this region, that is the area of triangle that is half of height into base, height is 1 and base is also 1 plus area of this rectangle. So that is height into base. So that is 1 into 2, base is 2, right? Plus area covered by this triangle that is half of height into base, height is 2 and base is 4 minus 2 that is 2. So in total area that is half plus 2 plus 2 means it is 4.5. Now we can solve in total area covered by convoluted signal that is a multiplication of area of x of t and y of t. So area covered by convoluted signal that is area of x of t that is a1 and area of y of t that is a2. So that is 2 into 4.5 means it is 9. So we will be observing area covered by convoluted signal that has to be 9 with respect to time axis. Right. Now I will solve second question of this video. See in second question we have two signals x of t and y of t. Convoluted signal is z of t. Here we need to identify range of convoluted signal as well as area covered by convoluted signal with respect to time axis. So first of all I will explain you range calculation. Here lower limits that is based on x of t and y of t. Lower limit of x of t that is 0 over here and lower limit of y of t that is minus 1. Right. So in total lower limit of z of t that is minus 1. Now let me explain upper limits. Upper limit of x of t that is 4 over here plus upper limit of y of t that is 3. So in total upper limit that is 4 plus 3 that is 7 seconds. So here convoluted signal that is having range from minus 1 to 7 seconds. So convoluted signal that is ranging as per minus 1 to 7, right. Now I will explain area covered by convoluted signal with respect to time axis. 
For that, we need to identify area covered by individual signals. Let us consider area covered by xt with respect to time that is a1. So what is a1? a1 is this area plus this area. So that is half of height into base. So that is 1 into 2 plus half of height into base that is again 1 into 2. So that is 1 plus 1 that is 2. And if you want to identify area covered by y of t with respect to time axis, then that is bisected into again three regions, right? If you want to identify this first region, then that is half of height into base, that is 1 into 1 plus this area, that is area of rectangle, that is 1 into 2 plus this third portion of area, that is area of triangle that is half of height into base. So in total area is half plus two plus half means it will be in total three. So total area covered by Z of T that is multiplication of A1 and A2. Here area A1 that is two and area A2 that is three. So in total area covered by Z of T that is six, right? So this is how we can simply solve questions based on range of convoluted signal and area covered by convoluted signal. Here there is one thing that you need to keep in your mind. See this area covered by convoluted signal that one can calculate only if you have two signals that is given in form of limited time and that is having shape as per Euclidean geometry, right? And range of convoluted signal that is very essential. The reason is as and when you solve normal questions at that time there are three steps that you need to follow to identify convoluted signal. But if you know the range then sometimes you can avoid few steps by which you can save time. So in future coming videos I will explain you how to identify convolution for continuous time signals. And in that we need to follow three steps. But if you know the range of convoluted signal, then your calculation becomes easier and you can avoid few steps in your calculation. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if you have any confusion, just note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.